Okay, today I'm going to talk about the uh, midterm project. Uh, in this case, um, for the next two weeks, um, usually for this class, for the Illustrator class, we've had um, uh, I had students make a a layout, a, like a poster, of an artist for a midterm project, and then what we would do is we'd print it out and have a critique. Um, usually, you know, right before spring break, but uh, of course, it's an online class. So, what I'm going to want you to do is just just make your poster and then uh, just post it on your blog, and then we'll have everybody look at each other's blogs, and maybe we can send each other emails. At least, uh, you know, give some feedback to each other. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how we'll do it, but in this case, it should take you about two weeks. So take your time, do some research, get some good images, and then um, we will we will go from there. Uh, in this case, uh, let me let's look at what some of the students did in previous classes. Um, a lot of students pick Andy Warhol. He's a good example to do for for a class just because of his pop art lends itself to being almost an illustrator look. One of the things about choosing an artist for this project would be to try and find an artist that that kind of fits the illustrator style. Um, you know, you wouldn't want to really find you know try and recreate a a uh, recreate a Surratt painting or something like that with super fine detail. What we're looking for is, is, is I'm looking for you to, to try to mimic the style of the artist. Um, talk about, you know, uh, mostly this, this assignment is to teach you typography and layout skills. We'll talk about making shapes, uh, but most of it will be about typography and getting text to wrap around. As you can see, it wraps around his face here a little bit. Wrap around the objects. Uh, we'll talk about doing two columns of text. Uh, we'll talk about letting and line spacing and, and, and all kinds of great things. And, you know, this is a nice example. It kind of gives Andy Warhol his kind of pop idea with like the little, looks like um, bulbs, light bulbs that go around the letters here. So really you need to be a little bit creative as far as the typography. Uh, we'll talk about all the different, a lot of different techniques inside of uh, Illustrator. And it should probably take you uh, uh, two weeks to, to make a nice layout. Um, we'll talk a lot about bringing images in and linking images. Um, let's look at another example. Here's another nice example. Uh, again, we'll be bringing images in, um, maybe an image of the artist. Uh, we'll, you got to make a, a, a title for your, your art project. Uh, again, you know, trying to mimic the style of the artist that you're trying to um, recreate. And uh, um, let's zoom in here a little bit. Again, we're going to be talking about wrapping text around an object, um, making background. As you can see, both of those last two examples had nice background graphics. Uh, also, working in a lar little larger space in the plane, eight and a half by eleven. Uh, we'll also talk about um, um, initial letters. This one doesn't really have an initial letter example. Let's see another one. Um, this is a nice one, a Frida example. Uh, I like how the 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 type goes all the way um, around the type is integrated into the design they have the F that's integrated uh, you need to find both examples of the artist and type some text in this case try and write your own text and just not copy and paste from from the internet um, uh, I want you to kind of write your own text and um, and we'll talk about that as we go along um, different colors of the text uh, this one has some nice, nice typography to it. Uh, the art, uh, the the student recreated this flower. So one of the parts of the image actually has to be your drawing, your own illustrator illustration. Let's look at some other examples here. Uh, this was a a, bo a botanical illustrator, and so the student actually made this flower. Isn't that beautiful? The student made this flower in Illustrator. Nice typography good letters. She has a little symbol in the front, a big R there. Um, but the student, yeah, she made this in Illustrator for this class. Let's look at that example. Very nice. Kind of learned all the skills that we, we did in, 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 in the fruit example and recreated her own flower here. Wasn't that beautiful? 
So, you know, work to, 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 to take your time and make something nice. In addition, you should include graphics from the artist, as you can see here. So part of this assignment is you need to include something that you've drawn in the style of the artist. You need columns of text, okay, columns of text. We'll have text that wraps around an object. That's a requirement. As well as, um, as, well as uh, like I said, scans or, or a digital image of the artist. And uh, let's see, and a title. As you saw, there was a title in the last one. Here's a nice example. Uh, I love the typography on here. Got the Paul, Paul Klee kind of style here. Uh, this student actually drew this in Illustrator in the Paul Klee style, if you know his style. Uh, I'm not sure if I like the typography that much. You know, she tried to do the, the, the little lines that, and, but it just doesn't read very well. But it's, and then she, she did two pages, actually, a front and the back kind of thing. And so on the back, she included some of the images from the artist, as you can see here. So um, you need to include some images. Uh, she drew this. I like how she has the text going along a path here, kind of the you know childlike style of, of the, the Paul Klee kind of art. And then um, here's another example. This one is kind of missing some samples from the artist. Uh, but she did draw these. Uh, we did. She did do a live trace on here. I'll talk about a technique called live trace, where you actually go and and create vectors out of the bitmaps that you have. I really like the circles that they go along here. This is a nice initial letter. What initial letter is is a a fancy sort of drawn letter that would be at the beginning of a column of text or or a page of text. But very nice typography here. The other thing to keep in mind is um, I list some of the, the texture in a, in a letter on in, in the book. There's a page on how to do the, the texture inside of the letters like you see here. Okay, so there's a lot to it. Um, so take your time. Watch these videos. I'm going to make a whole bunch of them. And uh, um, let's just look at some of the samples we got. Uh, looking for artists to do, uh, of course, my favorite place is, of course, the museums. Uh, my favorite museum, again, is the Legion of Honor in San Francisco. The, the nice thing about the Legion of Honor in San Francisco is you can take your camera in there and take as many pictures as you want. Um, it's a beautiful art. And then you have your own images instead of just trying to download some off the Internet. Plus, you can go to the museums. Uh, um, and the De Young's a great place. Uh, but they don't let you take as many pictures as you can in the Legion of Honor. Again, the Legion of Honor has a great collection. It's got a good fashion collection, but it's got uh, a great collection of all kinds of different arts and uh, um, ancient. Um, the, the advantage of, of the Legion of Honor is they have a lot of uh, 17th, 18th century pieces. Um, you know, they, they even have the water lilies here from, from Monet and things like that. So I, I highly recommend going to an, 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 a museum to try and think about what kind of artist you want to use for this project. Again, it can be any kind of artist if you want. Uh, I've had students in the past, you, you know, do skateboard artists, um, um, architecture even, as well as, um, uh, like you saw in the one sample, the bot botanical artist. So it doesn't have to be a famous painter or something like that. If you find a kind of artist that you want to use for this project um, that's not necessarily a painter, it's totally fine. You just need to be some kind of creative person who who has some images that you can you can use um, for your projects. Um, again, a good place to start might be under Google. Uh, at least to get the images under Google Images, you can type in uh, uh, like in this case, I just typed in Van Gogh, and you can get some images. One of the things to keep in mind is as we're working on this project is that it's going to be I want you to work in a larger size, so. Um, we really haven't worked with bitmaps inside of Illustrator yet, and a bitmap would be a scanned image or a photograph of of, a, of an image, which is different. We've been working mostly by drawing inside of Illustrator, which makes vector graphics, but when you find pictures like this or photographs of, let's say, a painting here, uh, what you're looking at is you're looking at uh, pixels, okay, dots like you would see in Photoshop. And so what you're trying to do is trying to get the appropriate size so that you can you can reproduce it inside of Illustrator properly. What I mean by size is if you look here, this, this image right now is 1024 by 768. It's a pretty big image, but you know, as I bring it into Illustrator and try and print it out on a color printer, it might not have the high enough resolution to actually look good. So one of the things you want to look for is, is a large image size that you can use to bring inside of Illustrator. 
Uh, this would be somewhat okay, I guess. The 1024 by 7 is pretty good. What you want to do is avoid avoid using uh, very small images, very small images. Um, and if you're looking for images on on uh, in this case, let's say this one right here. If you're looking for images online and you, you notice that this is only 440, 446 by 320 pixels, very, very small. And if I tried to bring that into uh, Illustrator, it would be really tiny and, and wouldn't look very well. It would be about this size and, and the quality isn't very good. Okay, so one of the things as you're researching and looking for images for of your artist, uh, um, one of the things inside at least Google Images is you can see that it says more sizes down here. So as you're searching and looking for, for images, if you click down here where it says more sizes, it'll try and find an image that's larger of the same same graphic. So, um, you know, that's one way to find, you know, really none of these are really acceptable, at least for me. That 750 by 539 is pretty small, but that's okay. I, I, you know, that might work. So look for images of an artist. Um, and uh, think about what you would write again probably Wikipedia would probably be the best place to find uh, um, you know information you know, if we typed in Van Gogh and and hit search probably get more under the Dutch but um, you'll notice that you know you get a whole bunch of information about the artist and what I want you to do is kind of maybe rewrite the text and don't just copy you can highlight the text here and copy inside of your computer and paste it inside of of uh, um, of Illustrator but that's kinda of defeating the purpose and in fact though what, what I do in, in class in my demonstrations I, I kinda copy and paste from a word document into Illustrator so um, but try and rewrite your text uh, I, I'll list some things and some recommendations on what to write about but um, try and rewrite the text right here. You know, this is all kind of jumbly text. And if you tried to put this into your project, it probably wouldn't sound very good because it's written here for, for Wikipedia, where you can maybe take different sections of each piece out and, 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 and recreate it. And you might even find some nice images right here on Wikipedia. So if you haven't used Wikipedia before, it's probably the best place to find information about things like artists and, and anything, really. I've been probably linking it up to this class all, all the whole time here. I love Wikipedia. But you see some great images and things like that that you can start with. So we're going to start in Illustrator. Um, one, or, one other website I'm going to choose to look at would be uh, the Carey Collection. is a, a, is a art um, a, a, a book or typography um, um at a museum in New York where I where I went to school and they have a great collection of, of, of graphic design and one of the things I like to look at when we're looking at these is is, is the actual um, initial letters I'm not sure um, they have some good examples of initial letters and when we get to doing that maybe we'll come back and look at this again it's called the Carey collection okay let's get started uh, I showed you some samples on my website uh, in this case I am going to use uh, uh, Toulouse-Lautrec as one of the examples and you can see uh, I've already started building it and uh, um, I'm going to start from scratch but you can see sort of what we're going to do we're going to have some columns of text, text that wraps around objects we have some shapes, I might use a, a drawing of the artist uh, at least his head portrait sort of thing we'll talk about using uh, live live trace option which converts the bitmap into a uh, graphic. So uh, the first thing to do is probably to get uh, 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 get all the assets you want to use together before you even start in Illustrator. What does that mean? Well, what I would do is since we're working on something that's more than just one piece, um, you know, we're going to be making a poster with p photographs. You'll see here. There's an image here. And these aren't even big enough. These aren't, but they're good enough for right now. Images. That was a lot better. Okay, so. As far as file size so grab some images that you might want to use for your piece write some text I already have written my text right here it's a word document and then um, um, we'll start from there so let me pause this